make sure you check out my website pcteach.me where you can look at all the videos in particular category orders also have the ability to contribute your own posts if you wish and I hope to see you there so we're off to see um, dimension storage or more importantly um, storage in general so let's um, open up the next project um, and that next project is dimension storage and we'll just open up the cube so we'll stick with um, dates because that's the one we've been focusing a lot of time on which is great so there we go there's our date dimension now clicking on the dimension heading itself it does come up with a series of other options and one of them in there is the storage mode um, and it also has this thing up here called proactive caching um, so typical Microsoft help you click on proactive caching and it just says specifies the proactive caching for the dimension well of course it does because that's where we are um, storage mode specifies the storage mode well okay fine let's click on the drop down box and you'll see that we have molap and rollap okay well what do they mean well really let's go to the proactive caching this will actually make life a lot more easier to understand so um, again as an exam question this is pretty high up there um, it's understanding how cubes store their information and how you would process them at the different levels so what we've got at the moment is MOLAP and really the key to understanding it all is all underneath here so MOLAP is a measure group um, data and aggregations are stored in a multi-dimensional format well yeah okay we, we get that already because that's what a cube is um, but then it's the next two points which are important it says notifications are not received when data changes okay well when would we receive a notification that's where ROLAP comes in um, processing must be either scheduled or performed manually okay so what this means is that any aggregations that are processed so when you process the cube with this dimension now fully optimized it will actually store all aggregations to the hard disk somewhere now is that what you want well it all depends um, it all depends on several factors one do you want to process your cube every single night do you want to process it for data which is so old that Fred blogs only looks at it every three months so do you want to process millions of records which are only going to be referenced once in a blue moon well then MOLAP is perhaps not the correct solution but this is where the rub comes in is MOLAP the correct solution for the date dimension generally well the answer will be yes because I want to see what my totals for 2001 are my totals for 2002 but if I wanted to go into the details the nitty-gritty of specific values that's when I may not want it there for example am I going to want to keep an aggregation of total percentage of 2001 chances are no but I am going to be interested in the current month but I'm not going to be interested in anything prior to that everything else can be just done on the fly if necessary because it's a once in a blue moon requirement so MOLAP actually or MOLAP and ROLAP the, the dimension storage it comes in two flavors you've got it on the dimension and you've also got it on the cube now on here we've got MOLAP and ROLAP you'll also notice there is a HOLAP and so if I drag this box can I move it to all these other ones well as you can see on HOLAP it's saying well no you can't because it can only be MOLAP and ROLAP HOLAP comes in on cubes only that is definitely something they'll want to get out of you for the exam is understanding HOLAP is a cube storage setting not a dimension storage setting but let's go to the other types so we've got scheduled MOLAP and what scheduled MOLAP means is that the processing is automatically performed every 24 hours so what will happen is the system itself will just constantly update it and this is where the options come in where you would actually specify the intervals now not many people will do this because you're not in control of the cube as such what's going on now is that it's enabled a proactive caching which requires a few settings to be switched on by the way um, but what it will do is it just automatically from deployment date will use that 24-hour period which is which is messy um, what you can do um, is then if you are going to use this um, 
update, what are the um, flags to indicate that? So you can specify certain SQL tracking tables, um, client initiated, um, where you have your own personalized table, or you can set it on a polling method where it looks at a particular query on a table to work out when it's going to run. Um, if you're doing MOLAP, the chances of you actually doing any of these options is, is very, very remote. Um, what you probably end up doing is leaving it on the top setting and then controlling it by other means like the SQL Server agent or integration services. So put simply, when it actually performs the aggregations is when you tell it to, not when analysis service feels like it by doing these other options. Also, the other advantage of doing it the way I'm suggesting is because then the DBA is in charge of the actual structure of rebuilding it rather than the developer, which is always a sort of tenuous position um, between developer and DBA. So MOLAP is just, it does it manually, so most people just leave it on MOLAP. But then you have scheduled, which is 24 hours. These are the key things. Scheduled is 24 hours. Automatic is um, basically when it looks to see when the data changes. And as you can see here, it says that SQL Server is not really configured for it. You need to set up an account to do it. Medium latency OLAP, um, well this um, again is sort of um, doing it um, every four hours and low latency is every 30 minutes. So again the key thing is they want to try and work out from you is low latency is 30 minutes MOLAP so it keeps re-aggregating every 30 minutes, keeps re-aggregating every four hours or it goes when um, a change in data occurs which really is where Rollup comes in. Um, you would have to configure it just basically to say look at every value that's in the dimension as soon as that changes then you update it. Um, chances are that you'll never ever need to do real-time Rollup on a dimension because most of your data on a cube basis will always be 24 hours or 12 hours um, old. You're never going to do real-time analysis unless you're in a very very niche um, area because the idea of cubes is to actually look at forecasting and so forth based on track record data which is generally the day before or the month before's information um, but that's not to say certain areas or certain industries um, for example um, financial services they may need real-time information but it's there if needed now that's talking about MOLAP and ROLAP on a dimension basis um, so it's now set on off and it's currently on um, MOLAP, but again you can go in here and then you can specify at what time does it all start and finish and so on. Um, but we also have the cube side of it, which is going to be an entire separate video, but whilst we're talking about MOLAP and ROLAP, it's worth just mentioning at this stage. So what we do is we go into the partition section and then in there you can see that we have a storage mode of MOLAP so let's just go to storage settings and as you can see we've got the, exactly the same options again MOLAP, scheduled, automatic, same options 4 hour, 30 minutes real time is now available now, oh, OLAP is available and real time so what's the difference? R ROLAP is just when the data changes you do something OLAP is controlled when you dictate it to. So you could say, well, I'm interested in one of the values of all of them. If that changes, then you have to do a re-aggregation. And that's the difference between MOLAP and ROLAP. HOLAP is a hybrid. So real-time, hybrid, and then you've obviously got the um, MOLAP one, which is the stored. So there you have it. You have got your different storage methods. But as I say, we're going to go into this in more detail much later on in the course. However, at this stage, it's important to understand that each dimension can be defined with its own storage mode. So on a dimension hierarchy, you're probably likely just to have MOLAP, but there are going to be situations of ROLAP. And by all means, add comments to the post to say where you would actually use ROLAP in certain dimensions, because it would benefit all of us. OK, right, so that's a much briefer video compared to the others, but just to talk about the storage method. Final part of dimensions before moving on is we're going to talk about the remainder of the options that we do have within this section. And for that, we're probably going to start on a new dimension other than date. Okay, well, we'll um, speak to you on the next video.